In this question, we're given the impulse response of an LTI system, and we're asked for the transfer function. Now remember, the transfer function is simply the Laplace transform of the impulse response. So what we're after is the Laplace transform of that. And the best place to start with that is the Laplace transform table. So we want something that has an exponential and a cosine and a unit step in the Laplace transform table. An exponential, a cosine, and a unit step. Now, if you look at the table, the signals in the time domain are all defined for t greater than or equal to zero. So that's the equivalent of having a unit step multiplied by each of these. Because the unit step is only non-zero for t greater than zero. So what we're after is something in the table that has an exponential and a cosine multiplied together. And the only one we find is this. So in the time domain, that's what we see. The equivalent in the S domain is that. So that's what we would be putting back into our question. So here, conveniently, we have a copy of that. So that is identical to that, with the exception of the unit step. But the unit step simply means that this is defined for t greater than or equal to 0. So having it or not having it makes no difference in this case. So we can say, in this case, a equals 3 and omega equals 5. And so h of s will be s plus 3 divided by s plus 3 squared plus 5 squared. And we can rewrite that, 25. And that would be the transfer function, h of s. Now for part b, this time we're given the transfer function and we're asked to find the impulse response. So we're asked for the inverse operation, so the inverse Laplace transform of h of s. And again, the easiest place to start would be the Laplace transform table. And this time what we're looking for is something that has something that looks a little bit like that, with s plus something in the numerator and s squared plus something in the denominator. So looking at the um, table, there's something with an s in the numerator and a, a number in the numerator, but there's nothing that has s plus something in the numerator. So I guess the closest thing we, we have is these two. So if we're able to split, if we're able to split this, if we can rewrite h of s as s over s squared plus 6 squared plus 6 over s squared plus 6 squared, now it's looking much better because we, we've seen something that looks like that and something that looks like that in the table. So the s over s plus s squared plus something squared is cosine, and the number over s squared plus a number squared is the sine. So we can write h of t equals cosine 60 
plus because it's linear. We have this plus, and then we have a sine 60. And that would be your final answer. But in order to express the fact that t has to be positive, you'd multiply it by a unit step. Now that, that would be our final answer. This is our impulse response. So we've just carried out an inverse Laplace transform. We've used the table, but we've done a little bit of manipulation in this stage here.